Hi, my name is Chris Amun, and I'm the founder and CEO of Data Parrot. We help companies predict and grow their revenue using AI. The problem today is go-to-market teams don't have the data they need when they need it. They want it fast, they have to hire a full-time resource, which is expensive and hard to find. The company may have a data analyst somewhere else in the company, but you get triaged, you have to write specs, and it takes forever. Most people end up just doing it themselves. We're solving this problem by building AI-powered agents. So here you can see a list of the agents that we're working on today. I'm going to show you the first one, create an accurate forecast dashboard. The agent decides which actions it needs to take and then which functions it needs to call. Here it's analyzed the website data to look at the ideal customer profile and see if it's a fit. Of course, it looks at deals by stage. Next, it looks at purchase intent based on the customer interactions. Very important in forecasting. Lastly, it puts this together to assign a confidence rating to the forecast, including deals at risk of closing and deals you could possibly pull ahead. This AI feedback is available in our app. For example, here you can see with purchase intent, this customer wants to buy, but the salesperson's not been responsive. We also publish this directly back into HubSpot where customers can integrate it with their go-to-market workflows and also exposing users to data parent. We didn't want to go underground and build these in a vacuum. Instead, we wanted real customer data across multiple industries for our AI to learn from. So we built this super useful, no config dashboard app with some impactful AI feedback we know small businesses need. This app is called Data Parrot Essentials, and it solves common problems that as every SMB has. There's three major insights. The first one is activity insights. What key customer activities happened? What is the impact? Pipeline trend. Did your pipeline go up or did it go down? Very important. Lastly, stuck deal highlights. What deals are not progressing? And some AI feedback on why those deals are stuck. This is summarized in the daily dashboard and sent by email week, daily and weekly, highlighting the most important changes. Currently listed on the HubSpot marketplace, and Nick from Zuby said, Data Parrot has fundamentally changed how we approach our HubSpot data for the better. Our pricing has a base platform fee per user with agents as add-ons. We plan to increase the prices as we grow. I founded this company seven months ago in April. My co-founder and CTO joined in June. We've been incrementally releasing alpha versions, adding users and iterating. We have 49% weekly active users with 47% opening up those daily emails. We've also, we also have over 35,000 deals and 25,000 emails for training. Our guide to scaling is the freemium approach, adding more agents, adding more platforms. Our long-term vision is to build an AI powered revenue management platform connecting all of the apps that intersect with go-to-market teams for over 1 million B2B companies. Our next integrations in the short term are Notion, Apollo, and Salesforce. I founded this company. My background's in computer science, and I've been in CRM my whole life, including revenue operations. Ramesh is my co-founder and CTO. Background's in AIML. Thank you for your time. I'm excited to solve this problem. Thanks, Chris. All right, Clara, you're up next. Question for Chris. Yeah, thank you for that presentation. I'm wondering who is too big to you? Like what company is too big to use your, your product and why? Thanks so much. Clint? Oh, you're on mute, Clint. <laughs> Sorry. Chris, good to see you again. We've met before. Um, question, uh, is this a boss product or an individual contributor product? In other words, do you go in through the, the salesperson themselves or is this someone ahead of sales basically puts in place for their whole team. Great, thanks. Let's grab one more, Aaron. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I wonder, would this be something that would be easily replaced or created by the platforms them, themselves? All right, you have two minutes for those. Cool, so uh, Claire, to answer your question, thanks you, thank, actually, thanks to everybody for the questions. Um, who is too big and why? There's different levels. Of course, we're starting with smaller companies because the, we're not redlining contracts. We're not dealing with all of the large enterprise sales cycle type issues. Um, typically though, in larger companies, they still function like SMBs within the divisions and departments. I used to sell CRM in, into these companies and they would always try and deploy something that was global. It would never work. And then they would deploy something for each business unit or things like that. So I think really the barrier for us to start moving into those companies is just a function of us scaling as we grow as a startup. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, Clint, great to see you again. You saw me back when we were just getting started, which is super cool. Um, this, When we first started this product, and today it is mostly focused around leadership. So one third of our users are actually the marketing side, which is super fascinating because this data is actually mostly centered around sales. But there's a lot of, a lot of focus on 
looking at the revenue journey and the customer journey independent of those silos. So I think that's super interesting. On the IC side, however, as I showed at the end, we are pushing this data back in HubSpot, which then opens it up to a larger user base. And absolutely, we do see expanding into additional roles such as ICs or even product teams, engineering teams, things like that, depending on the company. Uh, Aaron, could we be replaced by platforms? Well, this is recorded live on YouTube, but I'll say it anyways. Um, Einstein was supposed to do that. And I think um, that's been a struggle to see how that's worked out. Um, there are a lot of platforms that can touch on some of these things, like HubSpot could build some of it, but really the vision is to connect all of these different tools. So the CRM is one set of data, it's not the only set of data. So looking at Notion, for example, looking at uh, Apollo, looking at your HRIS systems, like looking at the finance data, all of those things come together to tell that story. If you kind of think about it, if you're a salesperson, you have three tabs that are pinned. First one's email, second one's calendar, third one's your CRM tool. If you're a CRO, First one's email, second one's calendar, third one changes every 10 minutes. We wanna be that third one. Thank you for your time.